Hey, Tony Caridi here at the Avid booth at Winter Nam 2011. I'm here with Al Schmidt and Ed Cherney. And Avid's really, really excited to announce to be, that we're becoming a pro partner with the Med Alliance. And um, I wanted to talk to you guys and, and have you maybe explain um, a little bit about Med Alliance and when it started and what's behind it. Well, it started, what, about three, a little over three years ago? Somewhere around that time, huh? And, uh, and I can read a little imperfect here. It's that the Meta Alliance is a coalition of globally recognized award-winning audio engineers and producers, in addition to making culturally significant recordings for over three decades. The group has been, the group has been definitely involved in establishing techniques and technical strategies that are the foundation of modern music making. So how about that? That's... Yeah, me too, man. I, you know, I didn't realize we were that good. <laughs> but we've been doing this for a while, and, and, and so much we're, and we're happy to have get you guys as pro partners. Believe me, I mean, that was important for us that, that you guys came along. And, uh, you know, we, we're, we're doing um, an educational program in, uh, in New York on February 19th and 20th. Uh, we did one here last March here at Capitol Studios in L.A., um, and it's great, and we just show our techniques and, and how we work with the uh, recording. It's mixing in the box, it's Pro Tools, it's uh, recording live, recording a rock and roll band. So it's a lot of things, and, and a lot of people get to learn a lot of things. Yeah, what Al said. Um, we're, we're, uh, the uh, Meta Alliance, Music Engineers Technology Alliance, we've been uh, advocating for quality, quality audio, quality techniques, um, quality uh, on the internet. You know, we work really hard to and put as much heart and soul into our recordings as we can. And we want to um, point out and acknowledge and acknowledge products that people can use to get the greatest quality. And Avid is particularly a company, and we're excited to be pro partners with Avid. And I'll tell you why. I started using Pro Tools pretty early on, and you know, at the beginning. You know, any new technology has issues, but Avid has never stopped improving their product. Every time, you know, it just grows and gets better and addresses absolutely uh, with a phone call or unsolicited addresses problems and it's always getting better. And I think with Pro Tools 9 in particular, the open architecture is really a big step and it's a, a brave step for them to make to open this up, you know, to get off of the hardware that, um, you know, that... Um, you know, it's really important to have this open architecture, and I think it's a, a great move by Avid and uh, Pro Tools 9. And so we're really excited to be involved in that and to use it. Well, we're, we're totally honored to be, you know, uh, pro partners with, with you guys. You guys are, are legendary, legendary in the pro, you know, production uh, mixers. I mean, you guys are really, really um, incredible and have incredible talent, so much to share. And it's funny... You know, with there's like two sides of the coin. With when Pro Tools emerged, what, you know, 15 plus years ago, um, it was kind of a first step towards democratizing the recording and the production process. And um, you know, and then uh, of course when Pro Tools LE, the the Digi 001 came out, that was another huge step towards democratization because it was like you know for, for a fraction of the price of what it used to cost, you could get you know some serious production tools. Um, and of course, the industry's changed, and you know uh, the, the technology has has improved and, and gotten faster and more capable. Um, but with that, you get your. But when you're democratizing the field like you are, you're getting a lot of people that are making music or audio or, or they're 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 working with sound, and they don't necessarily have the tools. They haven't had the guidance or that um, you know stewardship that you guys grew up with. And it's really incredible that you're now turning around and you're, you're, you're kind of formalizing this process and you're giving a lot of, um, you're highlighting how important that is. Can I, can I add something to that? You know, traditionally as a recording engineer and producer, arranger, you would come up, you would um, get a job in a studio. It was the only place really that you could record music and you would serve an apprenticeship. You would start cleaning bathrooms and you would get, work your way up all the way from the bottom of how a recording studio worked, how to move microphones, how to what microphones to use on things, where to place them, with uh, a lot of musicians playing together at the same time, um, and it was a skill set that was handed down from generation to generation, and that's 
how you really learned, and you got a really broad base in different styles of music, different arrangements, different techniques from the experts that you sat behind. And many times, the guys that you were sitting behind were the guys that invented and built the equipment that you were using to record people. So as, you know, as the business changed, as techniques changed, a lot of kids don't get the opportunity to start out in a recording studio anymore and work behind experts and serve an apprenticeship. Basically, all you have to do is put your money down and you've got a laptop and you've got a studio and let's go to work and start recording things. There's good and bad in that. Um, a lot of bad recording techniques get handed down. Um, people over compressing, over compressing, over equalizing, making bad recordings because they don't have the basis. They never sat behind, you know, great engineers and producers and and hear the sonic signature of what great audio sounded like. So, part of our reason um, to exist is really to is really to. Um, share the experience that we have with kids that are interested that want to do it that you know that just doesn't exist it's impossible to uh, to get that background so we're trying to give them that so enough of that from me hey, Al, you have anything to add i disagree with everything he said <laughs> <laughs> you know i was a real analog guy and i wouldn't do anything unless it was on tape and i don't know six seven eight years ago i uh, became a real fan of pro tools and uh, that's all I use now. I use, you know, high bit rate, and, um, and we're off and running, and it sounds great. I, can I say a little story? I, I had to convince Diana Kral and Tommy LaPuma to, to switch from analog to, uh, to digital and uh, the Pro Tools. And um, they were, uh, so we recorded both analog tape and, and into Pro Tools. And I got them in the room, and I played back for them, and they couldn't tell the difference. So then she, we had take two and take three, and she loved take three, but she liked the piano solo in take two. And we just pulled it out, popped it in, and that was it. It was done in like two minutes. It would have taken us a half an hour at least if we had to edit tape and all. So it, talk about it. It's, yeah, just right, exactly. So not only is it great, but it saves you money and saves you time, and, and, uh, and you can keep uh, the momentum going. It's great. So I'm very happy. We're, we're very happy to be in the company of, of uh, you guys. And again, we thank you. We're really happy to be working with you. Um, where can people find out more information on MetaLiance and this upcoming, um, these upcoming seminars or classes you have at Avatar? MetaLiance.com. MetaLiance.com. M-E-T-A-L-L-I-A-N-C-E dot com. MetaAlliance.com. If a woman answers, hang up. <laughs> well, there you have it. Um, coming to you live from NAM 2011. Uh, thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, you can tweet us at pound ask avid. Thanks for joining. We will see you online.